All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, I'm going to be talking about tribalism in the Linux community, but also how that plays out in the rest of well, anything, really. Anytime there's a verse, Pepsi versus Coke, McDonald's versus Burger King, or Subway, or Sony versus Microsoft, Linux versus Windows, etc., Tribalism is very much a human nature. A, I'd almost call it a human nature, and it's one of its major flaws in human nature. To me, there's a difference between tribalism and critical criticism, or constructive criticism. Now, I will be the first to say, is my criticism always the most constructive? because of how it's presented. No. Be the first to admit that. Character flaw. It's funny when you can admit them. But everything I say, I still stand behind. I mean it. It usually just might require a little bit better clarification sometimes on how I mean it. As an example, when I say someone's a dumb motherfucker and they have their head shoved so far up their own ass that all they can see, that it's so dark they can't even see the stars, something like that means they can't see a different light. They can't see a different perspective because they are so firmly planted where they are. That is just my crude, crass way of saying that. Now, people can take it or leave it or not like it. That's fine. And some people will view that as tribalism, and again, perfectly fine. But really, for me, tribalism is those people who are firmly planted where they are and will not move regardless of anything. They're not open for discussion. They're not open for debate. They're not open to dialogue. And that's really a thing. And, and to me, that... that uh, that is disappointing more than anything else. Um, how does this relate to Linux, though? Take the the Sony versus Microsoft stuff and just change some names. Plasma versus GNOME. My distro versus your distro. Take your pick. Um, if it's something that doesn't interest you, don't comment on it. It's really that simple. I've never earned, like, example, there have been plenty of distros that have, people have asked me to review that I just, I have no interest in. Like, I don't care. The rest of the community does. So my contribution to the community in that regard is to not do something I'm not interested in. I have no interest in revo reviewing or looking at, you know, Fedora Silverblue. A lot of people are. That's cool. They, they, uh, the people decide to review it. I probably won't be on the show that week. That's really all. It, you know. You can be a part of community, but you don't have to do everything the community agree does or agrees to. And that's the thing. Tribalism is so fucking stupid. Now, to me, yes. I poke fun at GNOME quite frequently. I poke fun. At, I don't necessarily poke fun at the at the uh, GNOME users. I poke fun at the project because, from an outside perspective, an outside view, because GNOME is so firmly planted in how it structure and how it wants to do stuff that you can't help but not poke fun at it. The, the gnome guys on the same note gnome users can poke funny the plasma project and how that's run single click double click plasma's defaults are god awful and garbage and, I will, and I'm a plasma guy gnome where features are bugs 
is how I poke fun at the project. But that's poking fun at the direction of a project or how a project's being managed. If somebody's using it, I'm going to inquire why, maybe why they use it because I'm interested in you know, why certain technological choices that some people make. But I'm not going to rag on them for using GNOME. Now, if I know them well enough, I might poke at it a little bit. It's no different than the the, the banter Dos Geek and I have sometimes with the, the the trolling and stuff. I mean, I troll Michael Tanel all the time too. Like it, there's a difference between playful, and there's a difference between tribal. Good natured and not good natured. That's really the difference. Tribalism is my way is the only right way. And that's that's the detriment of every word of mouth. That is the detriment to every product or project. Because that limits you. Because you, you refuse to see anything but this. Tunnel vision. Blinders. Call it whatever you want. So for me... While I might poke fun at projects, I appreciate everything that they contribute because really this project will drive this project to be better. It's the same thing in corporations, you know, big corporate, small corporate, small companies, mom and pop shops. I want the competition to do well so it drives the place that I like to do well also, to do better than well, do right by me as a consumer do right by me as an end user etc because there are times those things will end up hitting the end user or the consumer and people who are stuck in tribalism it helps nobody your company fails who's that help because you stuck your head so far up your ass that you refuse to see a, a, a different perspective because tribalism my way is the only right way no no it's not the only right way is the right way for that person that individual especially especially these nonsensical arguments about technology windows linux mac newsflash does it work for the user if the answer is yes, my opinion on it doesn't fucking matter. If they're open to suggestions or alternatives or discussion, that's a different story. That's really all it is. So tribalism is a thing, and it's detrimental to a community, a company, and a project.